This is a 3C 3mm bevel tip, and this is a 3CF. It is the same except it has no solder plating up the side. A baller solder will stick nicely to the face of the F version. Note that the tip and the solder ball are much larger than the components I am soldering. The bevel can be used in a similar manner to a flow tip. You don't solder individual pins. Instead you wipe the area with molten solder and let the surface tension and capillary effect do the fine work for you. The results look just as good as those I get using a flow tip. Flow tips are also known as bucket, spoon or bevel with indent tips. Rework flux is essential for this type of work. Mine is a little old and it's starting to crystallise like old honey. Large components must be placed accurately or you will need to rework them later. Not bad, but slightly off. With practice, 0603 resistors can be soldered in a single operation, but it often goes badly and you are better off just soldering one end at a time. If a resistor is soldered a little crooked, you can reflow it by melting the solder at both ends with the face of the tip. Surface tension then pulls it into place. With practice, you can also solder 0603 caps in one operation, but again, it is not reliable. Doing one end, then the other, is a safer bet. This is one way you can reflow them. 1206 parts are huge at 3mm in length and are very easy to solder. Tantalums are just as easy to solder as ceramics. LEDs are more problematic. Overheat them and they will fail, melt or both. It is important to check their position properly before soldering the second terminal. If you try to reposition them later using the iron you may destroy them. These were rushed and are not straight. I'll use hot air later to fix this. The 3CF is not the ideal tip for every part of the PCB but it is versatile enough that you can build a complex board with no tip changing. High reliability soldering fanatics will complain there is too much solder here but if you are building something that important, you should not be hand soldering the surface mounted devices. I'm sure I'm not within the recommended temperature profiles. I also haven't had any boards fail. The board worked first time, and it is the controller for my second ultra slow cooker. You can see the rest of the project on nerdypedia.com, along with my surface mounted soldering pages. Now I'll do something about those crooked parts. I'll reflow them with 240 degree hot air. All 
still good, nothing got fried.